With Sophie's call, Mark, who was more than 20 meters tall, put down the box he was holding. He appeared in front of the queen. In front of a 20 meter giant, countless royal guards were like little red mushrooms. The queen gave an order. The guard barely controlled the shaking hands. He ordered the soldiers to relax their guard. Mark walked in front of the queen with his steps, amidst the fearful eyes and incredulous stares of the soldiers. He gave the queen a respectful salute in the human language Sophie had taught him. Mark was invited to dine with the queen, but as soon as he entered the room, his hat hit the chandelier. It took for people to carry his one cloak and five to carry his one handbag. The queen also prepared a table and stools to fit him. The person serving the food had to step on a ladder to bring it up. The cutlery he used were swords, pitchforks, and shovels. When the food was ready, he ate first. It was much better than the stinky melon he usually ate. The food was good. Let's see how the drink is. At the queen's command, a large pot of coffee was poured into his bowl through the people passing each other. He finished it in one gulp, but the next moment, he sped it out. It seems that the human food is fine, 